Hello ladies, Ashley Brown here and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today because I'm here to teach you something that can literally drastically transform your life. Ladies, have you ever wondered how do I tap into my full potential and become that sexy, confident woman that I see out there all the time? And ladies, in this video, I'm gonna teach you just how to do so by giving you three things that you can learn every day and work on every day that can literally help transform your thinking and your mind and tapping into that full potential that God created us all to be. I often get asked um, ladies from other ladies, hey Ashley, how do I become more irresistible or how do I tap into my full potential power? Do I lose weight or do I add a little bit more up here or what should I do to become more irresistible? And I tell everyone the exact same thing. The great news is that the irresistibility factor already resides in you. All you have to do is tap into it. We have all been created with so much potential and so much power that we allow things in our past to limit those things and push down our full potential and we never live the life that we were destined to live. So in this video, I'm going to give you three principles that you can practice every day to really work on tapping in to your full potential and power. All right, so let's get started. So the first one is working on your mind. Ladies, I cannot stress how important this is. Working on your mind. What do you constantly replay in your head every single day, every second? Is it negative thoughts? Is it thoughts of defeat? Thoughts of low self-esteem thinking, oh, I'm never going to make it. Oh, I'm not pretty. Oh, I have nothing to offer. What exactly are you meditating on every single day? Because if you meditate on negative words of defeat and insecurities, that's pushing down your power. And then you have to really focus on this. Like I can't express how important this is. You have to literally transform those thoughts. When those negative defeating thoughts pop, pop into your head, because ladies, they will pop into your head. Everyone has negative thoughts from time to time, but the key is to change them. When a negative thought pops into your head, immediately say the opposite and make it positive. Doing so, you're letting go of those negative um, things that people have told you in your past that bring you down, that make you feel insecure, inferior, okay? So that's the first thing, working on your mind. Really, really focusing on what it is that's replaying in your head on a daily basis. And the second one is releasing and forgiving yourself and anyone who has done you wrong. Ladies, I get it. We've all been done wrong in our lives, whether it's from a coworker, a best friend, even a boyfriend, even our parents, someone who may have done us so wrong in life that we constantly hold on to that hurt, that pain, and that just literally pushes down, once again, our irresistibility factor and, and it prevents us from tapping into our full potential and power in this world. So I get it. Maybe you deserved a promotion. You didn't get it and your, and your boss gave it to someone else. Maybe your boyfriend of a long time cheated on you and told you that you weren't good enough. Whatever the case may be, work on really releasing that and letting that go so that way you can live the life God has created us all to be. And the third one is be Become aware of who are you spending your time with on a daily basis. Are you spending your time around negative people who are constantly telling you you can't do this or you can't become this or you're not pretty enough or you're never going to make it? Who are you spending your time with? I recommend you get a piece of paper, write down the four top people you hang around with and really focus on are these people a positive person in my life or a negative person in my life and really, really focus on that because sometimes in life, and I am guilty of this too. Um, I'm a very positive person. I would consider myself a very positive, outgoing person. And sometimes people that were surrounding myself around were very negative and bitter and just saw the negative in life, never saw the positive. And I figured, okay, well, since I'm so positive, if I hang out with them, maybe I can bring the positive out of them. And you know what happened? The complete opposite. I started becoming bitter and negative and started complaining all the time. And I'm like, wait, this is not me. Who am I surrounding my, my time around and spending most of my time around to change my mindset of how negative I was starting to become? So ladies out there, if that is you, I highly recommend you to re-examine who you're spending your time with. I'm not saying kick all your friends to the curb or not talk to your mom anymore, but just really limit your time around them because you don't want them to keep you from 
tapping into your full potential and your full power. Ladies, your potential out there is literally limitless. And if I guarantee if you work on your mind, your thinking, forgiving the past, forgiving the hurts and the pains of the people who did you wrong, and really focusing on who you're spending your time around, whether it's positive people or negative people, you can really live the life God is in store for you. Okay, ladies? I know it's in there. I want it to come out there and become that sexy, confident woman that God created us all to be. I want to hear from you, ladies. If you want more information about relationships or advice, please tune into my YouTube channel. It's Ashley Brown, A-S-H-L-E-E -E Brown 100, one word. Check it out. I want to hear from you. Let's make it a great day.